going on on my new current and future ride show drivers and passengers out there? Welcome back to the channel. Man, oh man, this Lyft driver definitely deserves to smack a bitch, hands down. I know a lot of people were on the fence and didn't know exactly if I was just taking sides or being biased. Well, guess what? Now I got proof of how this guy's character really is. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to put the links to the other videos in the description below so you can be fully up to speed. But to make a long story short, a driver ordered a ride from another driver. She forgot her purse. Uh, they contacted each other. He said he was going to return the item to her and that she would pay him and everything else, collect the uh, return fee. He didn't do that. Then in the first video, we have the heated video discussion of what happened after that. Liv said to go ahead and take it to a police station or drop it off at the hub. He didn't do any of that. She had to contact the police by going to the police station. They called him up and then finally set up something, a meeting, and they met at the hospital where she finally got her belongings. And we thought that was it. But no, this dude had the balls and the audacity to try to collect the return fee. Later on that night, or should I say early uh, today... Early in the morning, she received an email from Lyft saying that she attempted to make contact with the driver after the ride was completed, which she did. She had the police call him, and here's the email for that. Yeah, you see what I'm saying, guys? And then shortly after that, she got another email from Lyft, you know, about the ride being done. And it said $15 return fee. This douchebag did nothing to return it. She had to go get it herself after not having it for almost three whole days. Get the police involved just to get her belongings. And then this guy has the audacity to try to collect that freaking return item fee. I can't believe that. Take a look at this right here. So then she goes ahead and contacts him and tells them uh, he didn't return it. Liv even sent a little message in there so you guys can take a look at that right here. Yeah, there's no way in hell that dude deserves a return fee when she was locked out of her house for two and a half days because this dude lied, didn't do what he was going to say, and returned her freaking purse. So all those people that were trying to say, oh, no, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you never know, Dustin. He's, he, he wasn't going to get a tip or anything else. Well, guess what? His character right here proves that all he was about was the money for the simple fact of he lied to try to make sure he got this return fee. You know, damn well you shouldn't be doing that. Damn well. And anybody that says otherwise, hey, more power to you. You deserve the smack of itch too. If you don't return the item, it's been a couple days. You've done made a... a bigger mess than it needed to be hell to the naw you don't be getting any money like that no 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 that is so messed up but thankfully she doesn't take crap from anybody either because she's another fellow driver out there and she contacted them and here's the email from that they refunded her her money Yes, they sure as hell did, as they should, because he did nothing but make the situation worse. So all you people out there that say that I was being wrong, hey, there goes the proof right there for you. That shows what his intentions really were all about. All right, guys, as always, check the description below for extra information and tips. You keep doing your thing. Use common sense. Don't take crap from anybody. And until next time, Uber on or don't. Peace out.